Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about search functionality for any e-commerce application. So I will be providing complete detailed test scenarios which we can use for testing a search functionality. So if you are really working in any e-commerce application, then this video will be very useful for you. We'll try to understand what is all about a search. A search is a functionality or a feature which will be implemented as part of any e-commerce application. For example, Amazon, we have a search functionality. Flipkart, we have a search functionality. Any e-commerce application, if you take, there will be a search functionality will be there. The main purpose of the search functionality is to find a particular a value or a particular information from the database or from any list. That is the main purpose of a search functionality. Talk about what are the test scenarios we can write for a search bar placement itself. This is a search bar which we see on the top of the page of Amazon. Now, what are the things we can test for this search bar placement? So basically here we will be first of all verifying whether the search bar is in the right place, right location. That is the thing we will be testing as part of uh, these scenarios. Then we will also look for all the fonts, right? It could be image fonts or whatever the, the text we enter in the search box, those fonts everything will be validated and that should be as part of the user experience guidelines. We also look for the size of this box. So whatever we have a search box, right? So that is also a well-defined size will be defined as per the user experience guidelines. And we'll have to verify whether it is appropriately in the same size or not. Then we'll also be verifying the colors. The colors also does matter because that colors should match to the theme of the commerce application and also the alignment whether it is a center line or right align or top align or bottom align as per the requirements of a particular e-commerce application these things will also be validated then we'll move further what are the different validation test scenarios we can write what are the various different validation search scenarios we can write when you are doing this search functionality. The first thing is without entering anything, without entering anything, let's say I'm not going to enter anything here and if I click on click button here, search button, what will happen? You should throw an appropriate error messages. And also as we keep searching multiple keywords in this keyword bar, or search bar then you should also maintain complete history of previously searched uh, keywords if you've seen in google whatever the keywords we entered in the google search bar all the histories will be maintained you need not enter for again if you are going to search for the same keywords which you searched earlier if you just enter one or two characters the previous history will also come out. So whether that kind of uh, history is coming out or not, also you should validate it. Then the third is, suppose you, are, suppose you are searching for a particular mobile, then uh, all the search results with that mobile should list out, plus the title of that page should be a mobile. Then whatever the search results we get in the search page should be very relevant and that should be a best fit results. It should not happen that I am going to search for a mobile phone. I should not get a computer in the search results. That also you should validate. You should get the right results and relevant results you should get it. And the fifth one is if I am searching for a particular uh, mobile phone, let's say a 4G mobile phone. There are many 4G mobile phones available across the world. When I'm trying to search for 4G mobile, maybe the search results cannot be displayed in a one page. Maybe 
the search results can go up to multiple pages. So that time there should be a mechanism of pagination. You should have one, two, three, four options in the bottom of the search results. Where you should search in such a way that results are less than a page and you should also search for search results more than a page, then more than two page, more than three page, more than four page, more than five page. So in that way, you can see different kinds of paginations happens and your test cases is really working fine that time. If something is not working, then you can log an appropriate uh, defect for those test scenarios. Out of the search results, you can also sort there are many there are mechanism of uh, most recent uh, items or most relevant items you can sort it out based on the search results normally this is available when you are doing an amazon search results once we are done with our query and we, when we are able to see the search results after that also you should be able to perform a query again you need not go back to the home page and do it a query again need not be you can do it on the same page one more time the new query then the seventh is you should also validate for the search for search bar field with uh, by entering invalid keywords special characters spaces upper and lower cases you should give a results appropriately the way we search here then uh, you should also search for multi-language support let's say if I am searching in English, then I should get a results in English. Or if I trying to set the overall language as English and I am trying to search in Germany, then it should not display the German results. So whatever the overall uh, web page language we have set, appropriately the search results should come. Let's say if I set uh, overall uh, page as uh, Germany, then I should be able to search only Germany at that time. Then you should have all the mechanism of uh, logical keywords usage. Maybe two keywords can be used by using the and keywords or keywords less than or greater than keywords to fetch the information using this search bar. Then the tenth is search functionality. We have written it as an API. If if the AP functionality, if you bring down or disable it, then search functionality should not work. That kind of validation also, you should validate it. Then the 11th is, when we do a particular search using a particular keyword, then all the search results should have a hyperlink in it and also few descriptions for those content. And also you should validate by refreshing it, navigating back and forward in the browser window and see whether search results completely disappears or not. Normally it should not disappear. Even if I do refresh, when I say back and forward, then the result should be same there. It should not disappear. Till now we spoke about a functional aspects. Now we'll talk about a non-functional test scenarios here. So in non-functional test scenarios, here we are trying to verify the security aspect. There are many instances is there in the systems when enter a particular query in the search bar. When I enter a particular query in the search bar, I can easily hack the system. I can easily break the system by doing an SQL injection where I will be writing an SQL queries in the search bar rather than searching for a particular keyword. So I will be putting a SQL query itself. That time we have seen many time example where we are able to fetch that information, database information directly. That should not happen. That is a breach in the security. You should also validate uh, your search bar for, for performance aspects where we will be verifying last a lot of uh, performance parameters including a response time by putting high number of searches uh, from multiple users and by putting various loads stress onto the system and see whether the search functionality still works or not. Also see the indexing mechanism because indexing should be 
implemented in any search mechanism if search indexing is not implemented then that would lead to a bigger performance degrades then also you should validate the all the compatibility testing where the search functionality should work across different operating system browsers across different mobile devices and across different combinations of all these things still your search bar should be able to work there then the the next type of uh, scenarios you should write here is search su suggestions or search auto complete these are the some of the important uh, scenarios you can think up for search suggestions are where you should validate when i enter a particular keyword all related search suggestions also should come that is more of a auto complete feature where appropriate uh, keyword should be able to display where people can select appropriate results there and also whenever i am doing a auto complete uh, results and i should get a relevant keywords not uh, totally different let's say if i am searching for a mobile i should not get all the things here computers i should see only mobile followed with different uh, text there and also if i enter a different uh, keyword let's say rather than entering for mobile if i enter some wrong keyword then you should recommend the right keyword there and uh, user should be able to pick up that search query so these are the some of the important uh, test scenarios which we can write for search functionality i am hoping uh, you guys got a clear idea on what are the things what are the various things we can test it for search functionality what are the various combinations of test scenarios which we can write for search functionality i am hoping uh, this video was very useful for you guys if, if you guys really like this video then click on like button and if you guys are not subscribed to our channel then please click on subscribe and bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox thanks for watching this video bye for now take care